Torsten Frings has a goal on the night. Here he is with this delivery. In towards the six-yard box. And Toronto FC have their winner. Right at the end. And it's Terry Dunfield who celebrates. The former Whitecaps player enjoys this moment. Here's the ball in towards the six-yard box. Dunfield's header. Terry Dunfield ties it up with just over... Jeremy Hall with the throw into the edge of the area. Silva heads it on, and Toronto pulls one back. As Dunfield steps up and wins the ball, Ameriqua got options either side. Hands off for Ryan Johnson. A heavy first touch for Johnson. Gets the cross for Dunfield. And Morgan trying to get to the byline. His cross takes a deflection right in front. Save, and it does go across the line. And it is a third for Toronto, and it's Terry Dunfield was in there as well and then Terry Dunfield from long range Bendix ball forward Robert Earnshaw is there but Colleen wins the header then Terry Dunfield gets stuck in <laughs> Fell Hover almost dispossessed in the end Terry Dunfield does win it back and this is a comfortable lead Hogan for Toronto FC this is Seth Sonovic who drives it straight against Dun Dunfield for Eckersley, back for Terry Dunf. Biela, the goal scorer for KC, plays it back out wide to the right. Myers with the cross into the middle. Headed away. Asov out. And Estrada, a busy presence so far, looking to squeeze the space. Something the Sounders. This is Dunfield. Out to Eckersley. The English connection. Beat us, but at the same time, it was still a good performance. Terry beaten off the ball by Dunfield. Will Seattle breaking the back line of Toronto FC? Ryan Johnson once more. Dunfield. So far, so good. First in his fourth season, the 2009 MLS All Star, defending to do here as he matches up. Luis Silva might open up for Dunfield here. Lovely return very earlier. He probably couldn't even have dreamed on for the visitors. Was told in midweek that they put such storm falls on the turf. That comfortably goes into uh into spurning. We'll continue. Of the season, it's going to take a little time for the referees as well to uh, to get in match form. Little man, big man, there, the five feet two inch frame of Joao Pata, winning it for Toronto against the six feet three. One of the most likable guys you'll ever meet, Roger Levesque. Very versatile player. Which is in the Toronto goal to deny Roger Levesque his first goal of the season. Doubly well done on the Sounders part, really. We talked about the little bit of fatigue factor that my, both teams might be feeling with uh, Toronto being away from home for five days. Tough game in L.A. Seattle having a long trip. Toronto recover. Dunfield having a look. Plata turns back to Dunfield. Attendance at the 27,000 seat Home Depot Center will be capped at seven. Comfortable on the ball. Doesn't he? I mean, he just shouts for it. He finds the gap. He has an awareness about what's around him. Dunfield. Yeah, he'll be somewhat satisfied, except when you've got a massive game like this, straight out of the gates. It's a little bit more lift. Maybe pick up another goal. Try to sweep. To Ball with plenty of pace into the box. Dunfield now. Dunfield, though, recovers for Toronto. Reggie Lamb now the other way. Lamb slows it down, lays it off to Eckersley. Eckersley and Dunfield. Well, after the win in Portland last week, Marco Chalabon, the new Montreal Impact head coach, talked about Patrice Bernier being killed.
A little bit feisty in there on that June. The other one in New England. It's the last time they won away, July 14th at New England. The night that Danny Kuberman's got his injury. Yapuccino gives that one away to Dunfield. Ephraim out wide for Bostock. Dunfield thinking about rearranging that game due to the Galaxy's progression in the CONCACAF Champions. So tied here, nil-nil against Toronto. We saw a lot of examples of good pressure from Toronto FC in their last game. Here's Robert Earnshaw with a chance. Maybe I know. Fasanu couldn't get there. Dunfield will place this one forward. Played inside now for Marco De Vallo. But Terry Dunfield picks things up for Toronto. Dunfield plays it back for Hogan Ephraim. Ephraim tried to play the return ball, and the referee gives a penalty for Toronto FC. Toronto across to Richard Eckersley. Now Terry Dunfield midway inside his own half. Dunfield helps that one on towards Kyle Becker. Dunfield now looking wide towards John, looking to get Nyasi into some attacking areas. But he viene para levantar el centro. Dunfield le pegó golazo del canadiense. más peligroso, más que nada porque lo que hacía Michael Arroyo Canadá atacaba con otra cara, algo más pausado, sin tanta rapidez, pero en...